I think we're in a period of, of great excitement in the field. Uh, initiatives such as the Bucket Challenge have really recruited new people into the, the study of, of ALS. When you look at the current stage of the research, we understand now much more about ALS than we understood five years ago. It is very encouraging to see how many laboratories are really working day and night to find a cure for the disease. What we're doing in the lab isn't just a reaction in a test tube. No, there, that it has an impact on people's lives and there's people counting on us to do the best work we can to find a new discovery. One uh, very big step that we have achieved over the past decade was the uh, discovery of uh, dozens of genes that cause the disease. ALS is not one monotypic disease, it's a spectrum disorder, that's a big step forward. C'est une maladie extrêmement complexe euh, et à chaque fois qu'on ajoute un niveau de connaissance, on ajoute un niveau de complexité. Mais tous ces petits pas qui sont faits euh, dans la science sont extrêmement importants. Euh, ils nous permettent d'avoir un, un portrait plus global et c'est seulement avec ce portrait global qu'on pourra euh, arriver à des thérapies euh, efficaces. Our understanding is accelerating exponentially and we understand a lot of the key factors that we know to be involved in the disease and where we're at now is trying to connect what we already know so that we can develop um, more effective therapies for the disease. The research is like a marathon, it's not a sprint, we're not getting there overnight. We all work together and I think we are all making a big difference. The biggest thing to be hopeful for right now is that the speed of research is really increasing. So every time a new technology comes out, right away we use it. We, we try to think creatively and just use whatever is available right now. So I think it's really promising and I think we'll, we'll be seeing a lot of new and different things in the coming years.